Hi, this is Dreema, and today we are doing a client reading. And as always, I know the name of the client, and they know who they are, but I won't be saying their name in the video. Now, today is a one-question reading, and we're going to be using the Tarot of Dreams. This is one of my favorites. I connect with it really, really well. Um, I've shuffled the cards ahead of time, and that's mainly because most of my camera won't only go about 10 minutes and then I don't have enough time to explain the cards so I want to make sure that that doesn't happen okay so we're going to be using a three card spread and this like I said is a one question reading now the client is going to be getting married soon and the client's question is once they do get married um, this this client has a guardian will the guardian and um, this person they're marrying get along is everything going to work out uh, to where everybody gets along okay so I'm going to start over here okay. okay it looks like we have the queen of coins the two of swords and the eight of cups I'm going to start with the queen okay and what I'm getting from this card as far as, as you know, what, how is the relationship going to work is, to me, this is a pretty intense card. Um, the queen, actually, um, is a person that's caring and charming and things like that. You can see that it's a really nice, you know, caring-looking card. That's what I get from it. Um, what I'm seeing is that this guardian has a really big heart. And I really believe that there's going to be enough room in the guardian's heart for everyone. So I don't foresee any problems with this card. Okay. And then we have the two of swords. Now this one is a little different. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is a lady and she's blindfolded and she's holding the swords. Now to me, what I am getting from this card is quite different than, than what I was getting from the Queen, okay? The Queen is a very caring card. But to me, this card is more about, it's more about balance. Because as you can see, she is holding two swords. So this tells me as long as there is a balance in this three-way relationship, there it should go extremely well. Um, as long as there is balance, there may need to be some sort of compromise between these three, okay? And as for the client, what I'm getting is that just try to be really careful and don't put blinders on, okay? Don't ignore one and, and pay more attention to the other. Um, make sure that there is a lot of balance and, and fairness in this relationship, okay? And lastly we have the eight of cups now i'm not sure if you can see but someone is is walking up some stairways and kind of away from all these cups that are on the bottom and what i'm getting from this card um again it's quite different than the last one um is that you know it's going to be one of those things where if it goes back to this card, there is not a balance, then someone is going to feel as if, um, you know, maybe they're feeling they aren't getting their fair share, okay? Um, they may feel that things are just a little unstable, and they may begin to feel lonely and alienated, okay? So my suggestion would be, um, from all these cards is that I do believe everything will work out fine as long as the client makes sure because of this card that um, everything is balanced out make sure that both of these individuals that are in this three-way relationship that everybody gets something equal that it's a fair trade for everyone try not do your best not to actually pay more attention or um, you know become kind of caught up in just one of these people okay because if not there's going to be someone that will be 
alienated and lonely, and it's not going to work. The only way it's going to work is if there is balance, okay? All right, that does conclude my reading for today, and I would like to thank everyone for joining me, and I do hope to see you again.